Today I want to show you a fixed loop knot that I'm honestly embarrassed to say that I didn't know about. I was researching different fixed loop knots uh, and I came across this one. Now this one is called the Hansen knot and apparently this one was taught for a very long time in the Boy Scouts. I'm not sure if they still teach this knot, but if they don't, they should because this is actually a very good knot. So one of the properties to this fixed loop knot is it's similar uh, to the bowline in this aspect where it creates this bridge where even after this knot has been loaded, uh, it, you can bust that bridge over it in order to loosen the knot and it all comes apart fairly easily even after it's uh, seen quite a bit of load. So this is, a, this is actually a really good knot to learn uh, for just about anybody. It has a, there's a lot of different uses that you can get out of this particular knot. So let me show you how to tie it. Okay, so to tie this knot, I'm going to come down the end of the rope, probably about 18 inches or so. And then all we're going to do is create a, an overhand knot. Now what we want to do is we want to take the working end of the rope and where that working end came out of that overhand knot, we want to dive back down on the opposite side. And don't worry if you get your loop a little bit small here. Uh, when we tighten this and when we dress this knot out, it's actually going to get quite a bit larger. Now, once the working end is crossed or it has uh, been routed back into that overhand knot, then you'll take the working end, you'll cross over the standing end. You're going to lift up and you're going to come right back up through the center of the overhand knot. Now, when we've done that, we've created, we have two different wraps here, a top wrap and a bottom wrap. So what we want to do now is just dive right down in between those two, and then we can dress the knot out. Now, you want to take your time dressing this knot uh, to get it to seat correctly, because if you don't, it can capsize on you. So you just want to make sure that you get it all dressed up properly, and once you do, this becomes a very, very stable knot. Now, one thing I like about this knot is that the standing end is directly in line with the loop. So that's a, that's a good property to this knot. And it creates that same bridge that you're going to find in the bowline. So even after you load it up uh, with pretty decent amount of uh, force, this knot can still be uh, undone fairly easily. So this is the Hanson knot. I wish I'd learned this one a long time ago because I'm going to incorporate this in a lot of different things. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next one.